As the iPad's release date approaches quickly, game developers around the world are working hard on their new games. Here in Montreal, Gamer Rights, the developer of Chop Chop Ninja, once the sixth most downloaded game in the App Store, are no exception. I sat down with Dominique Bélanger, the president of Game Horizon, to find out what they are working on right now. So what sets Game Horizon apart from the other independent gaming studios? Well, there's two things. First, I mean, we have, we have a senior team, so we're a bunch of veterans from the industry that we got together and decided to uh, realize this vision. And the, the other element that sets us really apart is our vision around casual games and how we approach the design uh, with our own independent uh, thinking. Now who came up with the first idea for Chop Chop Ninja? Uh, I believe it was um, Mark and my partner, uh, was our game designer, okay. and he wanted to do well, you saw that on uh, on the iPhone, there wasn't that many platformers, uh, sort of Mario style, and wanted to have had his own sort of vision around the uh, Asian setting uh, platformer, and that's how Chop Chop Ninja came about. And what's really different about about Chop Chop Ninja is really the uh, the control mechanism that we use. We leverage the fact that, I mean, it's a touch screen, so we can use anywhere on the screen to actually. Have control and have players interact with the game, right. as opposed to virtualizing a joystick or buttons. Can you tell me about the future games you guys have in the works right now. Specifically on the iPhone, uh, we're developing a, uh, a banner under the Chop Chop uh, sort of art style. Uh, it doesn't mean it's all going to be all ninjas. That's not all ninja games. Uh, but the look and feel, the colors, the cartoon looking, this type of series of cartoons is going to be declined into. Uh, we have an arcade game that's just in submission with Apple right now. Should go on sale in a week, ten days. Uh, we have a tennis game shipping next week, so you'll have a chop chop tennis. So when you look at chop chop ninja, you will see a little bit of that cartoon type looking, colorful game. Then you're going to have a sort of modern setting tennis. Uh, game as well. Great. And what about on the iPad? Uh, we're very excited about the iPad. Um, however, due to confidentiality agreements with Apple, we can't. I'm not at leisure to say anything about the iPad or projects that we may have or not have uh, on the iPad. Okay. You guys have any plans on expanding on other platforms other than the iPhone? The first game we shipped in last September was uh, Quants that we shipped on PC Mac uh, as the as a downloadable game. So it was a reinvention of the uh, puzzle Marvel Popper Match Three type of casual game, uh, but totally reinvented the genre. Uh, we ported that over to uh, Steam in October, and then we brought that into Linux as well in January. Um, so we do support uh, PC, Mac, and Linux downloads. Um, we also, well, iPhone, obviously iPad and iPod Touch. Uh, there's other platforms. I mean, the team that we have, we're, we're, we've got the skill set to be able to develop on all of the major platforms out there. Uh, most specifically, I mean, we are uh, develop approved developers for Nintendo Wii and the Nintendo DS. Now, what about the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3? Well, I mean, those are things that we are considering. Uh, the success we've had on Steam actually makes would make it a lot of sense to go to Xbox Live Arcade for sure with Quants. We'll see about that. It's managing the pipeline of uh, production, right? Right, right. All right, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're most welcome.